everybody. We want to introduce you to a new video series called What's in the Shop. This is where we have real customers with real problems and the most important thing we want to show you is how to prevent them. So come with me and let's go see what's in the shop. So today we're working on a 2009 Prairie Schooner. So we're looking at common problems and mistakes with the slide outs. And what we're going to show you in this video is that the slide out seals have not been being cleaned and maintained, that the sealants have bled out on the slide out from the fascia. So as you can see that the putty tape is pulled, bled out from the side of the fascia. The water has gone inside and damaged the wood flooring of the slide out. It's also stuck on the side of the wiper seal all the way up. It's also causing scratch marks on the body itself. As you look down here further, you can see that the putty tape is bled out. It's also caused the hardware that holds the floor to the frame to buckle and, and actually rupture through the material and dry rot the floor. You see a number of locations. You can see that the screws are all rusted and backing out. Again, on this side, you can see where the water actually dry rotted the floor, the plywood itself, the layers. And Again, as we look at the rear of the slide out, you'll see that the putty tape is on the slide out seal as well as split out from the fascia. Okay, so how can I prevent this problem in the future? Well, by keeping an eye on the slide out, always scrape off any putty that you see that's bled out. Once the putty's been removed, make sure that all the screws are tightened and sealed. Then you can go back along the edge and silicone the side edges. You can silicone these side edges. This insert molding shrinks up and also becomes hard and cracks. This stuff needs to get replaced at least every three to five years. You know, you want to periodically come underneath the slide out, make sure that you don't have any screws that are rusted that are backing out like they are here. Again, trimming off the putty tape that's bled out. It's going to cause it to get on the wiper seals and cause damage and cause scraping and scratching on the floor. It's also gonna cause it to get bled out on the wiper seals, and which again will cause scratching to the siding of the coach. You wanna make sure when you're underneath here that you're cleaning and lubricating the wiper seals, that you're checking for any hardware that may be damaged or pulling through the floor. As you can see, all the screws that are coming loose and where it's damaged the floor, putty that's bled out, you know, that putty's bled out at least Three quarters of an inch if not more and as well as you can see the gaps in it where it's rusted all the screws dry rotted the floor so just simple silicone and insert moldings and cleaning and then treating the bulb seals making sure that they're soft and protected from the sun and water will prevent them from tearing and drying out and what also it, it decreases the stress by the rooms running in and out it doesn't make it to where it's str struggling causing it like a dry wiper blade that's slowing down or skipping on a windshield. All right. Thank you so much for watching What's in the Shop. Please hit the subscribe button so you can see our next episode. Thank you for watching.